Hey guys, I'm headed out for a grocery haul, doing two stores in one day. I haven't been doing that a lot recently. It's been more like just run to the store when you need something and or when something's on sale to stock up. Uh, but hopefully I'll be getting back into normal grocery shopping and grocery hauls and I can start doing some more grocery haul videos. So I'm going to Costco and I'm going to our local uh, produce market to see what I can get. It's not going to be a huge haul, I don't think. Um, I'm trying to keep my grocery budget really low for June because we um, have a fourth of a cow coming. We got in on a cow share and any day um, I'm supposed to hear that it's ready to be picked up. So um, that's obviously a big chunk of change. And so I'm trying to keep the budget low for this month and then we'll kind of the next four or five months, we'll kind of do like $100 less per month to kind of cover the cost of the cow share. I also am really stocked up on a lot of things, you know, as there was um, worry that there's going to be shortages of different stuff. Uh, as things started to become available, I'd go and stock up, you know, really slowly, not just buy everything out, but just watch the sales and um, stock up whenever anything was on sale. And so really I'm pretty stocked up on things like rice and beans and meat. I actually have a lot of like chicken and pork because um, I've been able to find a lot of good deals on that over the last few months. Um, I even started stocking up on that before the whole craziness started. Um, so I'm really stocked up on that. And of course with the fourth of a cow coming, we don't need any meat really. Um, the only thing is bacon we might pick up if we can find it. <laughs> Levi's back there trying to get some attention. Um, you can hardly see him. There he is. Anyways, I am bringing Levi with me because I have been, well, Autumn has been babysitting a lot recently over the past couple of months because she can't go with me and I can't take a whole bunch of kids with me when I go grocery shopping. Um, I've been doing a lot of grocery shopping just by myself and so she has been home a lot with the kids and I felt bad about that and um, she just babysat Levi for a good part of the day yesterday and so I figured I would give her a break from Levi and having to watch him because he is quite a handful sometimes and I'm bringing him with me. So after we go to Costco, we're going to go over to the produce market and get a few things. I am making dinner tonight um, for a little Bible study that we have and so I need to pick up some green beans and some different things so hopefully I can show you that meal um, at the end of this video. Got, got my mask so I can go into Costco. What did, what did you see? Whoosh. You saw whoosh? A whoosh is an airplane or any a vehicle that flies. Zhizha is a wheeled vehicle. Whoosh is any vehicle that flies. Are you ready to go to Costco? Yeah? What do you want to get? Yeah. You want to get a zhizha? That's what you're obsessed with. Oh, you want to get nanams? Okay. More more shisha? Okay. We gotta get some frozen blueberries. Mom. All right, we're making some progress Mom. here. Mom. Yes? Are you Mom. talking to me? Mom. Yes? Mom. Mom. That's me. Mom. <sighs> See the bananas? You want to hold it? You going to say bye to the bananas? Go ahead. I didn't leave you. Did you think I left you? So many nanums. Ooh, they got a new flavor here. These are so good. Yeah, you want some of those? You can have some of those in the car. They're num num. 
so all the food that I got, I got is up here on the top and then everything that's not food is down on the bottom. So as far as food, I got this bacon. Um, we usually like the low sodium better, but they've been out of it for a while, so we got what we could. String cheese, uh, bell peppers, cucumbers, some frozen berries. We love these maple house, or sugar house maple uh, chicken sausages for breakfast. I just got one because they're kind of expensive. And then um, some sugar, we were completely out. I decided to try this. I tried it a while ago, um, quite a while ago, and it's been a while, so I decided to try it again see what I think just to have some easy dressing that I don't have to make myself. Um, I got some golden potatoes, two packs of these. If you haven't tried this flavor of pork rinds, they're so good. Almost tastes like spicy Cheetos or something. And the kids really like those too. They're not too spicy for the kids. Got two packs of bananas, big thing of sour cream. And I think that's it on the food. The total I spent on food was 101.76. Real quick on the non-food items, I got toilet paper, which I'm so glad that toilet paper isn't a thing anymore. And um, garbage bags, some paper bowls and small paper plates, and then one box of pull-ups for Levi. He doesn't use them very often, he's pretty good, but every once in a while when we go out, uh, we need one, so this box will probably last us a really long time. For non-food, I spent 92.85. Do you hear whoosh? Is that a good pork rind? Oh good, I'm so glad. Here we are at our produce market. See what goodies we can find today. We gotta find some num nums, right Levi? Wanna find some num nums? For sure. More num nums? Yeah, green beans are very nummy. There's all kinds of num nums around here. And bananas, yeah, we already got those. Oh, we need a cabbage. Do you like cabbage? Cabbage is more num num, right? There's the nut squirrel. Do you see the nut squirrel? He's always over here by the nuts. Yeah. Didn't get too much at the produce market, but I got my green beans for tonight. They had some green beans at Costco, but they sure did not look very nice. So glad I found some here that looked a lot better. I got some romaine lettuce, some green onion, some yams. I uh, had a cabbage and then I got cojita cheese and thank you to everyone who uh, corrected my pronunciation on my last video or tortilla soup video. I um, knew I was saying it wrong. I even spelled it wrong. So <laughs> thank you for everyone. I knew you, you smart people would know and you would correct me. So that is everything from the produce market and I spent $22.01. And for those who are curious, I do still get uh, imperfect produce boxes every once in a while. I don't get them every week anymore, um, about every other week or so. And then when it gets to be like summer and fall time, harvest time, I like to get more stuff uh, locally, like especially at this market, because uh, we just have so much great produce that's local here. So um, I take breaks from imperfect produce uh, for periods of time and then just pick them up whenever I need them. He didn't make it through his whole pork rind snack. Oh, did you have a good snooze? Did you have a good snooze? So I'm just about to throw together this dinner. I'm going to cook my beans first. Um, there's a method I like to cook green beans with called um, dry frying. I think that's what it's called where it literally is frying it in a dry pan. You get the pan super hot. And then you put the beans in and you fry them for just a little bit and then you add the oil and they blister up really nicely and they're really good. Then I'm going to pull those out of the pan and cook up my um, bacon. Um, then I'll pull that out of the pan and cook up the chicken breast in the bacon grease. I'm trying to decide when I'm going to do the onions. Um, Maybe I'll cook those with the chicken. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm kind of throwing this all together. I'll put a link down in the description of the recipe that I've used before that this is based on, but I'm winging it and not following the recipe exactly.
You can hear my pan is really hot. All right, I've been dry frying for maybe one to two minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the oil. So here's what the green, the green beans look like. They're gonna cook a little more at the end when I put everything together, but I just wanted to get them some color a little bit. Now I am frying up the chicken and then I'll do the bacon. I realized I did the chicken when I was going to do the bacon. You can see I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, throwing things together. I'm gonna get this all crisped up and then um, pull it out and then I'll saute the onion in the bacon fat. Bacon is done. I drained off a bunch of the bacon fat and now I'm sauteing the onions real good. So I added back in the green beans and uh, some water and I'm gonna add a few spices here and then put the lid on and let it simmer to let the green beans get soft enough. Just doing some black pepper and some garlic. I'll add salt later, I'll taste, because um, the bacon's gonna be pretty salty. So I don't wanna add too much. All right, so now I'm gonna add back in the chicken and then add in the um, some Parmesan cheese. Autumn and Levi are having some fun in the garage. And then a little bit of cream. We'll get that all mixed up and melted. I think I need a little bit more cream. Now I'm just gonna let it simmer for a little bit. Um, just barely simmer. I don't want it to boil a lot, but um, let the Parmesan cheese melt and let the sauce thicken up a little bit. All right, that part is done. And the last thing is just to sprinkle the top with bacon and this is ready. So this is a keto meal for those of you that are doing keto but then I also have the rice for anyone um, that's not keto that wants to have rice if you are totally keto you could do um, like cauliflower rice with this or just eat it as is but it's super high fat obviously and super high protein too so it's really it's really a delicious dish thanks for watching guys I will see you again real soon